Hello YouTube and welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Red. I'm Saki and well in the last episode we we freed Mr. Fuji, yeah? And we got the pocket food thanks to that. So we can now uh, walk, wake up with Snorlax. But before we do that, uh, I just realized that well we have fly on Pidgeot, right? So we can actually do that uh, finally. Don't worry, it makes sense, <laughs> I swear. So, what we forgot, oh wait, uh, fell down, but it's alright, we will get the bike. So, um, as, you, as we all know, at the very start of the Let's Play, we totally forgot to take uh, something that is actually, well, fairly important. <laughs> and it is also important because I, well, always forget to... Um, I always forget names of cities and such, so yeah, we're going to get the map, <laughs> we're kind of getting it at like, uh, I would say half of the gameplay, maybe maybe just a little earlier, but still, yeah, it's kind of late, isn't it, but still, I think it was about time, let's see, I think it was you. Exactly, we have a town map. <laughs> okay, guys. I mean, to be fair, now that we had the uh, PJ we fly, that was also, well, like that wasn't really needed, but still, now we have it. So, let's go back to Seradon City. Very nice. Kinda curious to see how the map works actually. I don't really know. Okay, yeah, it's just. <laughs> it says where you are. Guess what? Okay, so let's go to Snorlax. T -t 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 -t. Actually, talking about Snorlax, maybe we should switch Pokemon. Let's go with uh, uh, where is it? Charmeleon first, since we have uh, our fighting move on him. There we are. So. We go on items and we use. Uh, what was the TM39? Swift! Oh, okay. Uh, Pocket Fleet. There we go. We can actually drop the seal. Um, why do I always forget the name of it? Well, that seal thing we got from Giovanni because, well, we went to the top of Pokemon Tower, so I guess we don't really need that anymore. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Very nice. Why is Norax appeared? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we put him in for a reason, right? He's going to deal good damage, but we also, yeah, we will get much damage back. Amnesia. Hmm. Submission. Oh, that was close. But ah, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Yeah. Oof. I could try a Pokeball, but we only have like normal ones. Hmm. Will it work? I mean, it's not bad to have on the Snorlax, right? You never know. If I might change something in the future. Yeah, we caught him. Nice. Poor Chameleon is, well, did not enjoy the fight, but still. <laughs> now we want. Very nice. So, well, we don't really need to go back because, uh, well, we will just put Vaporeon in first. Go this way. And uh, let's see. Yeah, the cycling road is just uh, here. Oh, okay, it, ju it selects the bike for you. That's good. So, yeah, that was actually the reason why we got the bike to begin with, also. <laughs> well, this is a route, uh, the bicycle road, that, uh, well, of course, you can travel through it only with a bike, first of all. And, well, there are many, many trainers that you can fight. Well, the only issue is that they are all poison types, at least for the most part, so it's going to be a little annoying. You know, thinking about it... Uh, um, no, wait, what did you know? I want to say that... Uh, well, now I realize that we probably really needed the up psychic type for the Let's Play. It's really, really important in this generation, because, well... I mean, you kind of miss something to eat, uh, not only poison, but also fighting types with. So, yeah. But it's right. Do 
be fair, rather than that, it's just that we kind of miss uh, uh, a good special attack here. I mean, we have Vaporeon now, so we're fine, don't get me wrong, but still, you know. Would have been nice to have some kind of glass cannon on, on the special side, and I don't think we really do that. I mean, Charizard would probably be one, kinda, so yeah, maybe I'm just, uh, you know. It's not important. We're totally fine. Okay. Water gun, nice. Well, at least we will get some levels on Vaporeon. That's definitely good. Water gun. Ah, sorry, had to sneeze. Okay. We're back. Okay, water gun. <coughs> We definitely need a stronger water type move. Uh, we will get there though, but for now we have to be content with water gun. I could use ice beam, but uh, as you could see, we don't really have much uh, power points of it. That's the only issue. Okay, another trainer. Not too sure who I'm going to put uh, once. Uh, well, as you could see, Vaporeon is kind of out of the picture already. So, Charmina is still kind of low, pretty sure of it. And, uh, well, all the other Pokemon, I don't think they would do too well. I mean, Nidorino probably does. So, yeah, we'll probably go with Nidorino. Nice one shot. Good job, Vaporeon. Match up. Now nah, we'll keep Vaporeon in. Nice man. I wanted him to reach level 30 before we switched him out, uh, so let's see. I think he can take one more fight. He's pretty strong. Oh, wheezing. Uh, well, that could be a problem. <laughs> also, four levels I had. That's also that's actually a big problem. Uh, let me take it back. Okay, let's go in the rain, actually. You know, we can get poisoned uh, and everything. Pokemon are actually really high leveled uh, compared to us. Uh, I do wonder if maybe we should have gone uh, the other way around before coming here. Yeah, with with the move, by the way. <laughs> I I didn't really say anything, but I totally realized that. More than happy also. Kaboom. Okay, so good job, Aporion, but we're going to switch him back to. Another position for now. Oh boy. The trainer. Was not planning to fight against the next, but it's totally fine. Grimer. Um, I wonder how much damage we deal with one attack. Let's see. Hopefully it's... Mm. Would have liked more, but still. It's alright. Ah, come on. Yeah, once again, it just looks like it's kind of similar to the Pokemon Tower, where we totally, like, you could totally see that we lacked a uh, uh, good move against these kind of Pokemons, and well, we do, we really do. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was just, uh, I'm just going to try, whatever. So, two times in a row, we got Poison Sting disabled, that's totally fine. Three times in a row, the fourth one. Is the lucky one. Trust me. Damn it. Well, never mind. Um, let's go with one attack. It's just barely not fifty percent. Would have been amazing if it was, because well, you know, one move less, less free damage uh, taken from Nidorino, but you know, it's alright. The reason why we're level leveling up them is exactly for that. Although, as I said before, I'm kind of uh, surprised that uh, the Wizzy before was level 33, and well, Nidorino was level 33 before we uh, got another level in. So you know, that's not too good. Maybe we can. Maybe we are getting a little um, behind the levels. Uh, you could say. 
Maybe I'm just do like um, it could also be that I'm just doing things uh, on, in the wrong order, kinda. But it's alright. Oh, it's disabled. Okay, so Thunderbolt. Very nice animation also. Okay. Um. Well, I won't make you. I won't make you mad. Okay, another trainer here. Single matchup. Think Thunderbolt is actually better here. Let's see. Eh, that's decent. Oh, we got paralysis off. I can't be bad. Yeah. Okay, let's go with poison steam. Oh, that was so low. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe it's enough. I hope so. At least. Yes. Very nice. Okay. We got him as well. And well, the first uh, bunch of trainers, uh, well, we beat them all. Yeah, I'm just going to go back uh, really, really fast uh, with a bike, actually. Oh, damn it. It's actually that we can't bike in here. Okay. Ta ta ta, Pokemon Mart. I was in the arena, wasn't it? I wasn't even close, like, come on. I was so sure, I swear. Damn it. Okay, let's go back there. I mean, we got a poor new yield, so you know what? Let's go back to him. Yes. Item, bicycle, yes. There we go. We're going to drop off the bike, yes, but once we get here, yeah, we're back on it. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Yeah, exactly. I can't uh, really control the bike here. We're just falling down. Oh, so that was Fuxiapoli. Wait, how would you say it in English? Fuxiapoli? Fux. Oh boy, I really wonder. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. Ah, uh, ice beam. Good damage. Take call. Uh, we're going to go with ice beam again. That was good. Sludge. Damn it. Uh, please don't poison him. Guy, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't curse. I shouldn't curse. That's what I said. That's what I should keep. Coughing. Yeah, I'm just going to level pour in. You'll probably die my my good uh, water type, but still. I'm doing that for you. It's because you need experience. I know it sucks to die, but still, come on. Wheezing. Still level 28? Uh, yes, it is. So maybe two ice beams won't be enough, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, we got the freeze! That's amazing! Okay, let's go with water gun then. We're just. We're taking some damage from the poison, but it's alright. We can't move anymore. Level 31, that's really good. Opponent has so much HP, I love it. Okay, yeah, we can take one more fight with him. One more trainers here. There are actually many, 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 but well, that's good. More experience. Ah, chop. Q ball. Didn't realize that's the name of them. I wonder if it's like an American playing or something. I mean, I don't even think I really know what it means. I mean, I know what, what ball means. I'm not too sure about Q. Clear. Let's go with Water Gun. Machok. Hmm. I think this could be the first Machok we fight.
Ah, damn it. Please. Oof. Oh, it missed. Nice. That was great. That was also kinda lucky. I think there's another one, yeah. Just down there. Monkey, I mean, uh, well, Vaporeon is almost out, uh, so let's just abuse uh, Ice Beam as long as we can. Uh, Primeape, let's try to keep him in, although I'm pretty sure that it... Oh, he's even faster! Ice Beam, but at least it should deal... Uh, I, was, I was expecting more, I was expecting him to be a little uh, less tanky. More squishy, actually, but still, well, he wasted two turns in a row, so <laughs> we're kind of happy with that. Okay, I think you can hear my family talking again. Oh, anyway, actually, something that I wanted to say in this episode is that uh, really sorry, guys, that the last one was, you know, a little all over the place, <laughs> but <clears throat> I'll try my best that this one will be, uh, you know, a little smoother. Although to be fair, we went uh, probably to a route uh, that we shouldn't have taken so early, so we kind of already ruined it, right? Well, <laughs> too late. Uh, I think it was a mistake to go for Beach. Uh, yes, it really was. Yeah, it really, really was. Um, where is it? Yeah, let's go with Double Edge. I don't think it's going to be enough to one shot him. Yeah, ah, oh, he's so tanky though. Disable, oh yeah, nice, he failed. Let's go with double edge again, and damn it, we're so close. What will, we, what will we use? Disable, double edge, well, it's alright. Let's go quick attack. That's kind of lucky. We kind of need a Pidgeot in pristine condition, you never know when you need him. But well, too late, so yeah, let's go with Nidorino first. I think uh, that's a good idea. But the issue is that if we find a Muck or a Wizzing, it's actually kind of annoying because we kind of lack damage on them. It's a notice. Watch out for discarded items. Uh, there are. Oh, you can stop with A. <laughs> good to know. That's actually new to me. Yeah. It's kind of annoying to see the poison effect, isn't it? Well, kind of sorry. Vaporeon has so much health. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of time before he faints. Same goes with Pidgeot. Monkey. I think Thunderbolt is actually stronger this time. Good. Good thing about Nidorin is that, of course, it can be poisoned. I mean, we're fight. We're yeah, in this time so we're talking about fighting types, okay? But still, <laughs> if we end up against a coughing or a muck, well, it's kind of cool that we cannot be poisoned. Damn, that was five times. Oh wait, four times. Machok, hmm. Should we risk it? Nah, it's level 26. I think uh, 3 Thunderbolts uh, or even 2 should be enough. Or well, maybe even 2. I don't think it's going to deal too much, yes. Thank you, Poison Type. Thunderbolt, and yeah, it's enough. Very nice. Machok. You know, I just. Uh, I'm actually wondering something, was Nidorino going to evolve in Nidoking by himself, at like a level 36 or something, or did we need a stone? <laughs> hmm, that could be important, you know, right? Well, you know what, we're going to get him to level 36, and then we're going to see if he evolves or not. 
If he doesn't, uh, well, maybe I actually have to look so for some things online. <laughs> Oh no, okay. Uh, well, well, oh no, to be fair. Nice. <laughs> One less uh, Pokemon with that effect. So, in case you. If you're wondering what I'm doing, uh, I can totally understand why. Well, basically. Basically, I fucked up because <laughs> I was not supposed to do that. I thought we missed uh, two. Well, we did. We, I thought we didn't go this way, but actually, we did. So, well, never mind. Not a trainer. How long have we, have we been here? 21 minutes already, boy. Well, I mean, many trainers, I guess it makes sense. Wheezing, annoying. You know what, I'm going to try. Oh, and drill. Oh, we got that. Let's go in the arena. I feel like I'm kinda lucky with that, uh, with the move uh, in, this, in this gameplay. I think I, I've hit uh, like, I don't know, once in my life, this kind of moves. Although to be fair, I also never really told them to anyone. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think I'm trolling a little too much, but I'm going to take the risk. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Let's fucking go. I, I shouldn't curse, right? I shouldn't curse. 36. Okay. Guys, I think we need to stop. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I really don't know. I'm really sorry, but I don't quite remember. Uh, what was it? Was it a moonstone? It could be. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm so sorry. I suck. I really suck. I swear, I know a lot about this game. I swear, I really do. It just it just happens that these Pokemons that I've never really um, trained, well, I don't really know them. Ah, <sighs> well. Guess what? We have Nido King. Nice. Oh, we got we lost Pidgeot. You know what? That's totally fine. We don't get that annoying effect anymore. Coughing. I think it's time to show off uh, our new stats. Let's see if it let's see if it is any better. Uh, yeah, looks like so. Looks like so. Or an attack. I wonder where we can get a ground type move though. I really can't Im really imagine where. I really can't imagine where. Sorry. Turn the ball. That was a good, very good damage, but that was a crit. So well. Sludge, oh, that was my crit back. Or an attack. Okay, and we got Whizzing. Coughing. Uh, yeah, I think it's about time that we use Charmeleon. Though I don't think it's going to do too much damage to them. Uh, actually, we have Slash. Was I, th was I think it's actually way stronger than uh, Ember is. Yeah, pretty sure of it. Mostly because of the, mostly because of that critical hit, that it's not really guaranteed, but kind of there. So yeah, we crit three times in a row, so we're doing fine. Let's see if another time. Yes, <laughs> very nice. What else? Wheezing. I think we're going with Slash again. Nice one, Smog. I don't think... Oh wait, no, Smog can... Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I was talking about. Uh, it can poison. But it's fine. I don't think we're too far from... Uh, um, Fuxiapoli, right? I actually wasn't wrong. Like, there, there, there is a city that is named uh, that way. I just completely uh, forgot which one was. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, yeah, we did it, guys. Cycling road. We completed it. Very nice. So, let's uh, exit. 
These are two trainers. Um, but actually, we're going to ignore them for now because we're going to do this. So, welcome to Fuxiapoli, guys. Um, yeah, actually, the. Well, the reason why I'm going that way, well, that's the Pokemon Center. But if I remember correctly, in order to go there, you had to come through this way. <laughs> why are you. Well, like, I don't know. This is supposed to, to be a let's play, that's where you kind of learn how to play a game. And I always forget, like, and I always forget something. Where I, well, forget something, but it, sorry, if I remember things, but they are wrong. That was the other way around, really sorry. Okay, so, that was the gym. So, we're going to your Pokemons. There's an NPC there who's watching us, I wonder if uh, is useful in any way. Let's see. You can win with just one strong Pokemon. It's tough, but you have to raise them evenly. Thank you. Evenly. Or evenly. I think it's evenly. So, what I want to say is that... We got to Fixably, we well we went through the whole second rod as we said, but before we do that, before we fight here, I'm actually going to fly to Lavender Town if I can there we go. I'm going to explain why in a second. Oh boy the music. <laughs> Very nice. So, we're going to put Gloom first. Because, well, if you remember, um, in the last episode we went uh, down here to wake up the Snorlax that was blocking the road. But, well, now that uh, we have uh, um, woke him up, you know what, now that we can actually proceed there I'm actually going to take the bike, it's going to be faster Where is it? Yeah, bicycle Ta -ta -ta. Let's go back there We're kinda close I feel Yeah, exactly Since now we have access to this area I'm going to show you well, if you can see, I don't really have anything to point, unfortunately. We can get back to Fuxiapoli, basically. Going that way. There are going to be many, many trainers, just like they were in the cycling road. And, well, I think we need that, because as you could see, we were starting to be a little underleveled. Kind of happens when you have uh, this many Pokemon to raise. I mean, we have five. It's, a, a, well, not really a big number. If you have six, it's much harder and it's much slower, but still, uh, even with 5, you can start to see that you might get a little behind the levels. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and we will see each other in the next one. Bye-bye from Zaki, and take care!